I think what's happening here is, first of all, with the Ten of Pentacles being the overall, we're talking about needing to get to a place here where you feel like you are absolutely secure with this relationship. The Ten of Pentacles, though, for me can also show, you know, when you're dealing with another person, how is your security and stability going to be affected by dealing with another person? You know, that or, you know, they're looking at the same thing. But either way, we're talking about, you know, wanting to kind of get to this place. Now, this for a lot of you could already be about a relationship that, you know, you have been in for a long time. There was a lot built with this, you know, but there's still that need to get back to where you feel absolutely secure. So the way that you come into this is with the sun. Looking at the hermit on their side, I think that for you, all of a sudden, everything becomes clear about why they have taken a distance from you. Now there's understanding. And I think that for them, whatever was going on, they really needed to take a look at, you know, what they were really wanting out of everything, you know, because the hermit is really, besides the soul searching, is looking at the one through nine. This is everything that I've done, everything that I have to show for that. What have I learned from this? And what did I initially want to begin with? And I think that they needed to really take a step back to figure that out. But you are in the know on this, so to speak. So you're seeing everything. But it's also about, you know, them, I think, kind of like coming out of this. I mean, definitely with the Ace of Pentacles. And you now seeing that, you know, there may be something better ahead. So then you have, you know, the Nine of Cups. And this is exactly what you wanted. And that's kind of how I see that the new beginning, but I think that it's coming on their side. I don't think that, you know, you're, this is what I want here. Let's have this new beginning. And they're trying to look at it. I really think that we're talking about somebody who is wanting a second chance with you. And I say that because of the wheel of fortune, but the ace of pentacles, you know, is good here because especially coming out of hermit mode, this shows that, you know, this person that you're dealing with is seeing that we have to be realistic and practical about, you know, where we want to be in the long run, where we want to be in the future, you know, but also wanting something that's going to be, you know, long lasting. I always look at the Ten of Pentacles, like, especially in relationships, we're going to grow old together and change each other's diapers. That's where we're headed, <laughs> you know, but this is something that you want with the Nine of Cups. This is what's going to make you happy. This is what you wanted to begin with. Now, you, though, in staying with being practical about everything, are showing the Eight of Pentacles is saying that you realize that there's going to be a lot of hard work ahead. The Eight of Pentacles isn't exactly great when it comes to relationship readings or love readings. It's not super bad, but that's a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work that needs to be done. But I really think that for them, they think with the wheel of fortune that, you know, this situation can turn around, so to speak. The problem is, is that you move into this place where if they're wanting a second chance and you're putting in all the hard work, you may be being left out on some things. But I think that this is also going to have to do with what may have happened in the past. There's still like, I don't know, I'm not understanding, but I think that looking at the five of cups for them i think that they regret it i think that they regret some of the things that they may have done that caused you know a separation between the two of you because that's kind of how i see the hermit they took a distance from you but it's because they needed to figure their own shit out but the problem is is that the past is going to come back up in a way where i think that for you i almost feel more angry than emotionally upset over the fact that you weren't a part of what was going on or that you didn't know or they just kind of like left you. I don't think that this is something that you're looking at in future conditions. I think that this is something that you're looking to understand. Now, on the other hand, you may be putting in all this effort, effort, effort. They're wanting a second chance and they're wanting things to turn around. But you, because of the past coming back up, may feel like, son of a bitch, I put in all this hard work and I have nothing. 
you know, but I look at this and I think the, the this one very specifically, I love the Six of Cups because it shows these are the places you've already been. So why is it coming back up? Why are we needing to go back to the past? Why are we needing to look at these places again? You know, and it, it, the, the problem is, is that you already come in with the sun. Like you should have already understood this. But maybe you only understood this from their perspective because what you wanted was to have a new beginning. But maybe the full extent of what you don't know is going to be made known here in future conditions. And then the two of wands, I think that for you, you're going to get to a place where you're going to have to make a choice here to act toward continuing this or act toward where I think you are going to be a little bit more stable and secure for yourself almost. Oh man. Okay. So let's get into this. With the Five of Pentacles, the first thing that you're showing is the Four of Wands. So you're you're getting there. You're getting to a place of stability, but it's almost like the brakes are being put on. And it's like, wait a minute. You know, I, I just lost something in this. And I think that they regret the actions that they took. The Queen of Pentacles, I think that for some of you, the Queen of Pentacles for me is like, if that's how they're looking at you, they're looking at you like you don't need them and you don't need them for a reason. And that reason is going to come out in a way that I think is going to have to do with a third party, whether or not that Queen of Pentacles is a third party. I'm not sure. I, I look at that though. And I think that for you, especially in connection to the four of wands, they see you doing all the work getting everything built back up and you're okay but then all of a sudden something comes out and you're like what did i give what did i give that i can't get back now why did i do this that that's what i'm feeling from this but i do think that they're looking at you like you don't need them but i also look at that as the past is going to bring about something that you felt insecure about in the first place you know, and, and again, we're talking about feeling secure in the relationship here. So, you know, and I'm just kind of like looking at the details that are leading up to this. But I understand now why we're looking at the Five of Cups because I'd be hurt. I would be hurt too. Now, the Moon and the King of Cups. Mm -mm -mm, this, I think, is the person that you're dealing with, and I think that there is, you know, definitely this part of them here that is trying to become more emotionally available. So, you know, male, female, water doesn't matter to me here. But with the moon, their back and forth, I think, is going to be a problem because you're, you're going to be putting in all this effort to try to, you know, change the circumstances here. But they don't know what the hell they want. And for you, you're caught up in this kind of like illusion that they're casting on you because they're doing the I feel and the emotional communication and, you know, trying to put it off that they are emotionally in control. But the past, the past comes up in a way with the Page of Swords reversed where it's not what you expected. It's not something that you want to hear. Definitely could be about an outside influence instigator, somebody coming through that's going to give you this kind of information that is meant to hurt what is going on with you and this person. And there are definitely some things that, you know, they are not being very clear and open and honest about. They, they're not, you know, the, the, the illusion is being cast over the past. Okay. Now with the two of wands, when that information kind of comes out with this page of swords, I think that for a lot of you, it's like, okay, so what do I do now? Especially given the fact that your perspective on it is going to be, what have I given that I can't get back now? What have I lost in this? But I don't like that Page of Swords because I do think that for a lot of you, it's going to be somebody looking to infiltrate or instigate something that really, you know, could have been avoided here if things were clear, if this person had made everything clear. But clearly that's not their intention. And that's my problem. But the fact that you're showing the two of ones you know, she's looking at that skull trying to figure it out. It's like her cursed ball. Like, okay, if I take this course of action, where is that ultimately going to lead me? 
or do I continue with this? Even though I felt, even though you may feel like, you know, there's something that can't be gained back. And that's how I feel about this Five of Pentacles in the situation. And this, it, let me, I, 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 I take a breath and explain all of this. I think that this is how you were with someone from the past. And I think that the strength that needs to be had here for you is to, you know, kind of like not get involved because this person isn't going to give you what you want. Because I think that this is something that you've already experienced. But I do think that there was, you know, the, the classic kind of romance with this person. And I do think that for a lot of you, you know, this is a feeling of true love with them. But I do look at the magician and think that, you know, they, they or you feel like they have the ability to make something happen here again because i look at this as past you know present and future here but like i said with strength in the six of pentacles you know there's a reason why you're needing to kind of like find the strength and the courage here to not get involved and that's how i feel about this only because of the six of pentacles you don't want to be put in a situation where a person is ignoring you or not giving you what you need and then you move into this place of the empress where I think that for a lot of you, it's like, you know what? I, I'm good on my own. That's kind of what I feel like with her. You look great. You look good. I think that there may be a lot of things that are available to you. You don't necessarily have to get involved with this person. There may be, you know, this kind of like true love. Like, yeah, you know, this person may have been like the love of my life, but... I don't want to get involved with them again if I'm not going to get what I want or if I feel like I'm going to be ignored or if there's going to be some kind of like lack, you know, like I need your attention. You can't, you know, give me this beautiful relationship, but then like go in and out. That's kind of how I feel about that. It's like, oh my God, I, I met this person. We have, you know, such a great relationship and, you know, it's, it's like this fairy tale romance and everything is great but then you get into a place where you realize that they just kind of like aren't involved with you or not wanting to be involved with you all the time so you move into a place where i don't know i haven't heard from them from a cup for a couple of days i don't know we haven't gotten to spend time together and you don't want to be in that place you don't want to be in a relationship like that but the two of cups though it makes me wonder if we're talking about you getting involved in a different relationship and not wanting to do this again. Or if this is the same relationship and the connection is just, you know, it's something that you want, right? But I, I, I have to be honest, the Empress and, and the Magician to me feel like two different things here. I don't feel like you're you're being, you know, the, the temptress, so to speak, right? Like trying to tempt this person to, you know, give you what you want. I think that this is you, like, I'm good on my own. I feel okay on my own. I don't necessarily need this. But again, with true love being there, it's like this relationship can't be ignored, especially the way that you come into it. I think that this is separate. I think that this has to do with the other person thinking that they can make something happen. And then temperance, yeah. So there, there is definitely, I think, a part of you that's like, wanting more but temper temperance in this case is really about like trying to build the passion within the relationship right the connection is obviously there but I, I think for you there is no rush this time like there's no rush to do this you know i think that and again going back to strength there is a part of you that's like trying to kind of like hold off like what you really want to try to come back and do this i don't know i don't know that this is what i want i don't know that you can give me what i need you know so there is really no rush here i think that for you you may be trying to kind of like keep your options open but this may be difficult for you because of true love and there being true love and what i mean here is that i really do feel like with the temp with the empress <laughs> with the empress you're you're you've worked into a place where you feel good about yourself and you know a anything is open and available to you why should you get involved with this again other than the fact that you know there's the connection there what i don't like here is the ten of wands that that's that's where i'm like that's a little bit fucked up i don't 
that bothers me. It's almost like I, I think that some of you are dealing with a situation where, you know, you had that kind of relationship where like, oh, it's so great. It's so great. Right. And like I could see you telling people about this, like this is a romance that I didn't think that, you know, was possible here. But the truth is with the Ten of Wands that, you know, it just ended up being a, a here and gone situation. And that's kind of what I feel like with this. Because I always look at the Ten of Wands as I'm looking to relieve pressure and that's it. It's not really about moving any further than that because you're already at a 10. It's like two people that hook up and then that's it. But for you, your perspective was this was, you know, a romance that was something that was special to you. You know, so I do think that this person kind of comes back around. I think that for you that there's, you know, this need to really hold on to your inner strength because it, it took a lot for you to get back to a place where you, you felt good about you. But there is no rush here. There's no rush. But temperance can be saying, though, that things are starting to build between you and this person again. But I think it's only because they're coming back around. But what I will say is that I question their intentions here. And that's just me. All right. I actually think that what's happening here is you're needing to trust that everything is kind of like okay in the relationship. I think that for some of you, you may be having a hard time because something has changed. I almost look at the Six of Wands as you are like involved with a person where you're constantly in like not playing games. I don't think that this is about playing games in this situation. I think that it's, you know, hey, can I have your attention? Please, I want your attention here. But with death being there, something has changed within the relationship, right? So death to me, and, and I always say this too, even with, you know, normal readings, death is not about, you know, the ending of everything. It's about an ending of certain aspects of what is going on in order to get back to stability because we're looking at a 13 not a 10 but it's definitely saying that something in what you're dealing with has come to an end in a way where it's not going to go back to what it was so somebody has changed something has you know changed for somebody in this relationship but i don't think that it's you know because they're wanting to end the relationship or that you know they the, their feelings have ended I just think that they have changed in a way, if that makes sense. Because you're still like, please, you know, I'm here. I want some attention and like I can get that. And I, I say that, though, too, because with the four of pentacles, right, like you're you're trying, but somebody is just not in it, you know, which makes me curious as to what has changed here. But looking at the eight of wands the times that you do connect with this person you savor those moments right but you know i, I almost look at this as you know i want more but because of you know how hard it is to to get things going with this person it, it's like you know i i just i savor all of these moments that we have together but you are needing to trust that everything is okay so i look at that with the ten of pentacles and think that this is otherwise you know a good situation but this is really about self-reflection in the way that you see yourself in the relationship right especially if you're questioning on whether or not you can trust the person that you're with and then the fool you know but i don't think that that's you moving away from the relationship i think that for a lot of you it's like moving on to a different phase of the relationship. A lot of times the fool can show that, you know, you're going, I, I, I'm i moving on now. I'm moving away from deceit. I'm moving away from certain things. But I think that you're moving away from issues of trust, if that makes sense. And I do think that for you, it's you're walking a very different path in your relationship now compared to what it used to be. But it's because I think that the other person is having a problem. But I do think that it's directly affecting you. Because with the King of Wands, whether you're male or female here, when we're looking at Sagittarius, you know, this makes sense to me. Very, very passionate, very loving. You know, it, it there is you know, the, the physical love, but there's also the understanding and, you know, the comfort that that's what I see with the King of Wands, especially in terms of Sagittarius. 
But, you know, I, I don't doubt that there is the same kind of feeling with that person. I don't think that that's what died and changed, you know, because there's still the relationship happening here. It's just changing. You know, death doesn't always have to be a bad thing, right? But looking at the Four of Cups, though, you're talking about routine. Getting into a place where there's constantly the same thing happening day in and day out, day in and day out. You're wanting some attention from this person. You may not exactly be getting it. And you may feel like, I try and I try, but I don't get a response with that Four of Pentacles. But the thing is, is when you do, it, there are always really good moments with that Eight of Wands. But I feel the feeling of needing more. But with the Ace of Swords, I think that that's where, you know, again, the trust is kind of like coming back here because you do still have these moments with this person. But for some of you, you may be taking a look at yourself and going, I need to move on. But the thing that throws me off on this is you're trusting, you're learning to trust. I don't think it's about you leaving this relationship and going to the next. I think that you're going with the change now. I think that that is what the fool is about. <laughs> 